Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We have a race video today versus my 2024 BMW M2 and this Tesla Model 3 Performance. It's also a 2024. This is the new generation Model 3 Performance. So this is the one with the 510 horsepower, I believe. I'll double check, I'll put the real number on screen. But we're gonna do uh, some roll races here. We're gonna do 40, 50, and 60. If you guys are unfamiliar, the M2, it's 3,800 pounds. It comes with the S58 inline six twin turbo, 453 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque is what BMW claims. The Model 3 Performance is at 510 horsepower, 500 something torque. Again, we'll put it on screen. With Tesla, this is kind of hard to figure out what they're actually making. Conditions, it's about 80 degrees outside, um, 91 octane for me. He's at a 70% state of charge, right? Yeah. So he's at 70%. Most Model 3 performance owners, they charge it to 80 for daily driving. So he's close to what it would be if he uh, just charged it for daily driving. But obviously if it was at exactly 100%, it would be a little bit faster. Uh, but we'll see what these results come out to be. Uh, definitely stay tuned. Pull up more, pull up more on me. Pull up, pull up. And then, all right, I'm ready. just gets you out of the hole so fast. another 50 and I'll try to have a better reaction time because I got to be a little bit early with the electric car. like 120, 130, then I can pull you in. Yeah. All right, guys, just got back from the rolls. Aiden, what are your thoughts? Well, I'd say if you stuck them on a track, zero miles an hour, you'd get <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do a day no, because no, we already know what's gonna okay, happen on a day. 40 miles an hour, um, of course, that's the more like, like you said, usable part of the power band. That's where you are going to be 
most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you're in like a really high, like, uh, like on situation. the freeway like or on something. The freeway or something like that. Um, at 50, it was more like I jump, but it was a really slow pull from mm -hmm. you, which I think um, that has to do with just higher horsepower numbers because it's BMW. So. Okay. And then at 60, I think at that point, my torque was just, my torque curve was towards its bottom and your horse, and it, at that point it was just like, yes, there was a little bit of a jump, but it was easy for you to come back. Yeah. Um, but it was not until like 125, 130, where they would really meet front ends and then you would jump out ahead. I mean, we were, we were doing some pretty high and high speeds before, yeah. uh, before there was any kind of, of passing from the M2, which just means that at the top end of it all, the M2's horsepower is put down better than the Tesla Model 3's, right? Um, Probably just like engine versus electric. Yeah, and that's the typical thing you see with engine versus electric, is that at the higher the higher end, um, higher end of the power band where the horsepower is just peaked out, you know, the M2 makes sense that it would win. But yeah. at lower, at the 40, at the 40 roll, what happens is, is that, you know, at, you don't get the chance to really stretch yeah. out your horsepower as far as possible and then the torque plays a major role in the Tesla Model 3 just walking away with it. Exactly and another thing to keep in mind is that he was on a 70% state of charge so you know if you were on 100% I think that your car would stay in front. Well it was at 70 now I'm at 60 because when you're in insane mode it just drops, <laughs> drops the charge. I think like he, like I don't know the to the extent 100 would have over 70 benefits wise. I just know that um, there could be a chance that maybe it performs better. I think I think it'll perform better and I think you'll stay in front. And I think if, if we did like a 60 roll, I'd have to be going like 140 before I like catch up to you if right. you were on like 100%. And right. that's like kind of unrealistic. Like and no one goes that fast. Yeah. situation where like we can't even get to somewhere where we can hit those speeds without like immediately having to back off because we get to well we can in mexico we can't yes <laughs> but like we, we get which is where we are right now people yeah exactly <laughs> but, but on the road we were racing on by the time we're at 130 it's like you gotta let off yeah it's exactly so it, it's really hard to pick a definitive winner when we never get to really stretch the true capabilities of the cars in the first place i think it's safe to say at 70 percent state of charge you'll You'll beat an M2 on most street situations, but if you catch an M2 on the highway and line yeah. it up, the M2 will probably beat you. Yeah. So, no, it's not definitely faster than the last Model 3 performance for sure. Oh, yeah, the last yeah, Model 3 performance it wouldn't even be close. Like, it would jump out on this, and then I would just go flying past yeah. it like a standing still. So, uh, good job, Tesla, I guess. You <laughs> put something beautiful together, yeah, but it's just not an IC engine at the, uh, at the, at the top end, so that's, yeah. that's fine. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.